We are going to Sydney, in Austria. We are going to Sydney, in Austria. We are going to Sydney, in Australia. We are going to Sydney, in Australia. In a sail deal down under, where the ocean meets the sky, there's a place for. Welcome, young adventurers, to the magnificent city of Sydney. Get ready to embark on an exciting journey filled with wonder, laughter, and discovery. Sydney is a vibrant and bustling city located in the beautiful country of Australia. It's a place where skyscrapers touch the sky, golden beaches stretch for miles. And friendly faces greet you at every corner. Sydney is the largest city in Australia and is home to a diverse population of people from all over the world. As of the most recent data, Sydney's population is over five million people, making it one of the most populous cities in Australia and the entire Oceania region. The population of Sydney is known for its multiculturalism, with residents hailing from a wide range of ethnic backgrounds, including British, Chinese, Indian, Italian, Greek, Lebanese, and many others. This diversity enriches the city's culture, cuisine, and community life. Sydney has a rich and fascinating history that dates back thousands of years. Before the arrival of British settlers, the area now known as Sydney was inhabited by indigenous Australian peoples. The modern history of Sydney began in 1788 when the first fleet, a group of British ships led by Captain Arthur Phillip, Arrived in Port Jackson, as now called Sydney Harbour. Today, Sydney is a global city known for its iconic landmarks, vibrant culture, and high quality of life, attracting millions of visitors each year and remaining a beloved home for its diverse population. Are you ready to embark on a magical journey to one of the most iconic buildings in the world? Join me as we explore the fascinating history and incredible architecture of the Sydney Opera House. Imagine standing on the shores of Sydney Harbour, gazing in awe at a structure unlike anything you've ever seen before. Its gleaming white sails seem to dance against the brilliant blue sky, reflecting in the shimmering waters below. This, my friends. Is the Sydney Opera House a true marvel of human creativity and ingenuity? Let's travel back in time to the 1950s, when the idea for the Sydney Opera House was born. The city of Sydney was bustling with excitement, eager to create a cultural landmark that would be the envy of the world. An international design competition was launched. Inviting architects from around the globe to submit their vision for this grand project. The winning design was proposed by Danish architect Jørn Utzon, whose bold and visionary concept captured the imagination of the judges. Utzon's design was inspired by the shape of sailing ships and the natural curves of the harbor. Creating a building that would not only be functional but also a work of art in its own right. Construction of the Sydney Opera House began in 1959, and it was no easy task. The building's unique shape presented numerous challenges for the engineers and builders tasked with bringing Utzon's vision to life. It took over 14 years to complete. With countless hours of labor and dedication poured into every detail, but finally, in 1973, the Sydney Opera House was officially opened to the public with much fanfare and celebration. 
Its striking silhouette quickly became a symbol of Sydney and Australia, attracting visitors from all over the world who marveled at its beauty and elegance. Now, let's take a closer look at the architecture of the Sydney Opera House. The building is composed of a series of interlocking shells, or sails, made from precast concrete panels. These shells are supported by massive concrete ribs, giving the structure its distinctive shape and allowing it to withstand the elements. Inside, the Sydney Opera House is just as breathtaking as it is outside. Its halls and theaters are adorned with stunning architectural features, from soaring ceilings to sweeping staircases. The largest theater, the Concert Hall, is renowned for its exceptional acoustics, making it a favorite venue for musicians and performers from around the world. But the Sydney Opera House is more than just a beautiful building. It's also a hub of culture and creativity. Every year, it hosts thousands of performances, including opera, theater, dance, and music, delighting audiences of all ages. It's a place where dreams come to life and imaginations soar. As we bid farewell to the Sydney Opera House, let's remember the incredible journey that brought it into existence. From humble beginnings to global icon. It stands as a testament to the power of human imagination and the enduring spirit of creativity. And who knows, perhaps one day, you'll have the chance to visit this magnificent masterpiece in person and experience its magic for yourself. Ahoy there, mateys! Ever dreamt of a place where history, fun, and sparkling water all mixed together? Then set sail for Sydney's dazzling Darling Harbor. This vibrant area wasn't always a playground. Long ago, it was a busy working harbor filled with ships loading and unloading cargo. But clever engineers had a grand idea to transform it into a place for everyone to enjoy, Pinspark. Darling Harbor is like a giant treasure chest overflowing with things to discover. Keen to learn about its past? You can hop on a guided tour and hear stories about the busy docks and the amazing transformation. Or grab your bikes and zoom along the waterfront, spotting clues like old warehouses that might have once stored spices or shiny new buildings that stand proudly today. Climb all the way to the pylon lookout for a bird's eye view of the whole harbor. Not only will you see sparkling water and bobbing boats, but inside the pylon, you'll find interactive displays that explain how this engineering marvel was built. From historic ships to interactive displays, there's so much to discover and explore. And let's not forget about the entertainment options at Darling Harbor. Whether you're in the mood for a thrilling ride at the amusement park, a leisurely stroll along the waterfront promenade, or a delicious meal at one of the many restaurants, there's always something exciting happening at Darling Harbor. Have a Sail across the bay that till you see the harbor bridge standing tall every day. From darling harbors, from the Luna Box, the latter day. Get ready to discover the Sydney Harbor Bridge, a towering masterpiece that spans the sparkling waters of Sydney Harbor. First, let's travel back in time to the 1930s when the idea for the Sydney Harbor Bridge was born. Imagine a bustling city filled with excitement and ambition, 
eager to build a bridge that would connect the northern and southern shores of Sydney Harbour. That's exactly what happened when construction began on this iconic structure in 1923. Designed by engineer Dr. J. Jick Bradfield, the Sydney Harbour Bridge is an architectural marvel, with its towering arches and intricate steelwork. It took over 1,400 workers eight years to build, using over 52,800 tons of steel. Can you imagine how many trucks that would fill? But the Sydney Harbour Bridge is more than just a feat of engineering. It's also a symbol of unity and progress. When it was officially opened in 1932, it became a lifeline for the people of Sydney, connecting communities and opening up new opportunities for trade and travel. Today, the Sydney Harbour Bridge is not just a bridge, it's an icon of the city, recognized around the world for its beauty and grandeur. It's a favorite spot for tourists and locals alike, offering breathtaking views of the harbour and the city skyline. So next time you're in Sydney, be sure to take a walk or bike ride across the Sydney Harbour Bridge. You will be amazed by its size and strength, and you will feel a sense of pride knowing that you're walking in the footsteps of the thousands of workers who build this incredible structure. The Sydney Harbour Bridge is truly a bridge to adventure. Are you ready to cross it? Hop on a ferry Let's sail across the bay The T.O.C. The Harbour Bridge Standing tall every day From Darling Harbour's from to Luna Box in Lata Day Welcome to the Sydney Tower I, a towering landmark that offers an unforgettable adventure high above the city streets. Let's start our journey by learning a bit about the history of the Sydney Tower I. Imagine a time in the 1970s when the city of Sydney was growing rapidly and planners dreamed of building a landmark that would showcase its beauty to the world. That's when the idea for the Sydney Tower was born. Construction began in the late 1970s, and in 1981, the Sydney Tower officially opened its doors to the public. Since then, it has become one of the most iconic attractions in Sydney, drawing visitors from far and wide who want to experience the thrill of seeing the city from above. Now, let's talk about the architecture of the Sydney Tower I. Rising 309 meters or 1,014 feet above the ground, it's the tallest structure in Sydney and one of the tallest observation towers in the Southern Hemisphere. Its sleek design and towering spire make it a striking addition to the city skyline, visible from miles around. But the real magic happens when you step inside the Sydney Tower Eye and ride the elevator to the observation deck. As you ascend, you feel like you're flying higher and higher until you reach the top and step out onto the observation deck. From here, you'll be treated to panoramic views of Sydney and its iconic landmarks, from the sparkling waters of Sydney Harbour to the golden sands of Bondi Beach. But the Sydney Tower Eye is more than just a lookout. It's also an interactive experience that's perfect for kids and families. You can learn about the history and culture of Sydney through immersive exhibits and interactive displays, or even try your hand at being a virtual tour guide with the tower's fun audio guides. Dot, 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 so come on. Young adventurers, let's reach for the sky and see Sydney like never before at the Sydney Tower Eye. And how about the city where the Oyo goes on? Stand see on the tower, be the young for more. Sydney, Oyo, we are Sydney.